Thanks for checking out my updated Get Response review. Here I'm going to be going over some of the most powerful features, give you a little bit of a demo, and of course my thoughts about if you should use this email marketing software that grows with you. Of course, if you would like to find out and test them out yourself, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to try them for free today. Let's begin. So GetResponse was originally launched in the late 90s, so they've been around for a long time. And in that long period of time, they've come up with a lot of great new features, one of them being landing pages, and that's usually not something you expect from an email marketing company, but they can be very beneficial when it comes to not only getting more signups so you can get more emails, but also creating more landing pages so that you can convert and pretty much just send traffic to any offer that you might have. With that in mind, allow me to show you how simple it is when creating a landing page. We can click on the button right here, and there are going to be two ways of creating it. You can use an AI powered builder that's going to be a little bit easier for answering questions or just use their simple drag and drop editor to customize your favorite design, which I'm going to show you in this demo. And one of the biggest reasons why I want to do it this way is that you can see plenty of templates that you can choose from. So there's going to be plenty of different categories here, plus 19 more if needed, like software, sports, travel, coaching. They do have a plethora of them. So if you are the type of person who are looking for kind of the neat, professional, clean, spiffy templates, as you can see here, there's a lot of them that you can certainly choose. Just change around, edit the colors, maybe to the branding and go from there. Or maybe you're like me and you like the plain Jane templates. They have those two right here under blank templates. And I've always loved blank templates because I feel like the less on it, the less distractions there are. I am not big on branding in particular. I think copywriting and the words specifically on your landing page makes a much bigger impact overall, but, but that's just my take on that after many years of marketing myself. So you can choose from something like this if needed, but let's go back to the pre-designed templates. And I'm going to pick one very quickly just so you can see what it looks like. Let's say we're going to be going for an email sign up which we can use just about any of these, but let's say we want to add this one. Let's do use template. All right, so here's going to be the drag and drop editor for editing your landing pages. It is pretty straightforward. If you click on something that you want to edit, it's going to bring up a section on the right where you can change around a lot of the settings for it. Like if you have a logo here and you wanted to add that, you can click here, replace, edit, and so on and so forth. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot that you need to learn here, which is a good thing. Like for example, this is going to be an important part where we want to sign up and you can change around the fields, which is very important in my opinion. For me personally, I don't like using names specifically. So not only am I not going to require it, I'm not going to keep it there because the less fields someone has to enter, the higher the chances are that you're going to get more email opt-ins. Okay. So you can change things around like that. So we have design as well. So if you want to change the button, this can be submit, click here to get instant access. If you want to change this around, you can tell them that they're going to be getting a free gift. And of course there is another important aspect right here. So for the success view, you you can just simply show a message. You can redirect them to another page, show a thank you page, but this would be the easiest, like thank you, something like that where they can go check their inbox to get a free gift. And of course, you can just simply set this up with the specific list that you have. Obviously, everything else is going to be business as usual. So, so it isn't the most complex drag and drop editor, but it is simple enough where it, you're not going to need like a PhD to figure out. So that's always a good thing. So a few pros and cons here, but overall, I think you'll have a pretty easy time using it. Let's click on continue. And pretty straightforward here. What you want to do is choose a list that you would add them to. I just created a, a basic one for this example review. We have the name of it. We can add context to an autoresponder cycle, which I'm going to show you next, which I love. And just a few other things in case you wanted to change them around for some minor statistics and even web push notifications. Let's click on continue. All right. And just like that, you're going to have a landing page. Of course, you'd want to change that around like the background, the pictures, but I will show you very quickly. Okay. And this would be where they enter in their email. They get a message saying like, thank you so much. Be sure to check your inbox, maybe for a free gift. And of course I didn't edit anything around here, but I don't think you're going to have any problem doing that. What I did mention though, is that when they do enter their email, you collect it and they get sent an autoresponder message. Probably one of my favorite parts of get response. So let's jump right on into that next. So an autoresponder is where the auto magic and automation are going to come into play. In case you're not too familiar with them, when someone enters that email, as I talked about, they're going to immediately get a follow-up email message so that you don't have to do anything. It's going to do all the automated work for you. Let's click on create autoresponder. And once again, you can use it with AI or by myself. I prefer by myself just because I'm so used to it, but you can feel free to use AI if you like. 
All right, and there's plenty of things that we can change around here. This is just gonna be the name so you know what this autoresponder is all about. We have our autoresponder settings, so ideally you wanna send it immediately right when they sign up, regardless of the day, so they get it right away, whatever it is they signed up for, whether it be a newsletter, a free gift, free ebook, free cheat sheet, a template, a a free VIP course, whatever it's going to be. We have our from email address, and this is gonna be the subject line where of course you can change that around. You can use AI to generate it, and of course there's even emojis if you wanna use those to stick out a little bit more. This is gonna be where we can design our content and our message, so let's do that right now. And once again, there are gonna be plenty of pre-designed templates that you can use for your email. So if you wanna look a little bit more spiffy, you can certainly do that. My tip that I wanna to give to you specifically anytime I'm doing an email marketing tutorial, even a review, I love personally using the blank templates because from what I've found, if you use a template like this and there's a lot of pictures in it, the chances are much higher that you're gonna be sent to the sin bin, AKA the spam box. Now it doesn't mean it's always going to be true, but I like eliminating those chances as much as possible which is why I will personally use like a blank template. This doesn't mean that you can't use any of these, but if I did, I'd probably use one that had like a lot less, you know, graphics on it, something like this. And while we're on here, let's just say we want to use this one. I'll show you how it works. All right, and as you can see, it's gonna be very similar to the landing page editor, and that's a great thing. So that means is that you don't have to learn a whole new set of skills here. Like I said, a lot of this is going to fluctuate and kind of carry over. So when you're creating a landing pages, very similar to say writing an autoresponder, very similar to creating a newsletter. So once again, you don't have to be like a super tech whiz to use that, and that's a good thing. If you were using the first name, this would auto populate here, you can do that. But since we deleted it, let's just say like your progress is unstoppable as I hit the wrong delete button, something like that. Once again, we have an image here. If we wanted to change this, we can click right here. We can replace, we can edit, we can add link. And this is just gonna be the text section. Once again, if you are selling a course, this can auto populate, but that's gonna be where you can add in your text anyway. If we go back here, these are gonna be the basic blocks. We can just simply drag and drop it in right here and just continue on with what you're gonna be doing. If you don't want it there, simply click on the delete button. This is gonna be our button. If you wanna send it to a URL, business as usual, right? Probably don't have to go over too much of this. I feel like it is so simple where I don't need to explain it a whole lot to you and that's a good thing. Like if I want to link it, I can do that. But that in a nutshell is gonna be how you create your autoresponder emails. You can test and preview it. You can get a spam check just to make sure that you don't have any words in there that you shouldn't. But once you are done, you can save it or just click on the next button. Let's do that. All right, and if I scroll down, you're gonna see that there's actually a spam check, which is fantastic. We haven't found any major issues that could land your message in the spam folder. So if you're using any specific trigger words, I'm not gonna say them because YouTube might even flag it for saying them. Like you don't wanna usually say them or put them in your emails specifically, but there's always long, mile long lists of those that you wanna avoid. If you ever get any spam emails and they land in the spam box, there's a reason for them because there's a lot of those trigger words in them. But nevertheless, that's gonna be the process when it comes to creating an autoresponder you can do save and publish so that it's good to go. I'm gonna click on that. And so that means that whenever someone signs up, they're gonna get this immediately. And the great thing about GetResponse, you can keep continuing on with this process. You're gonna see that the cycle day is at zero and you could do another one, day two, the fourth day, the sixth day, the eighth day. I've had an autoresponder series go around 80 days or so. So that can really save you a lot of work where you pretty much put an email in a day add to it, it gets sent out automatically. And as long as you're keeping leads going through, that is a great way to really automate a lot of your marketing and GetResponse does really make it pretty straightforward and simple to do. And it wouldn't be a get response review if I didn't at least talk about creating their newsletters. Virtually identical aside from a few things, they're just gonna be in a different section, but let's click create newsletter right here. All right, and as you're gonna see, the same process when it comes to creating an autoresponder, except we don't have it automated on specific days. You have the message name, so you know what it's gonna be about. You have your from email address, you have your subject line, the recipients, who's it's gonna be going out to. This is gonna be where you create your content again. Same exact thing, drag and drop editor for creating emails. And at the bottom, the only difference here is that you can send it immediately or schedule it for later. For example, if you have a launch coming out where you want this email going out at 9 a.m. specifically, you can schedule it for then. Or maybe if it's 9 a.m. right now, you just send immediately and then click on send. Once again, a lot of these different features are gonna intertwine, so you don't have to learn too many things here. And the things that you do have to learn, you're pretty much gonna be able to handle them on the first try doing it, and that's two big thumbs up for me. All right, so let's quickly talk about the pricing. In my opinion, it is gonna be a nice value for what you get. 
like I said before, you can always try for free and then upgrade when you are ready. So starter right here, starting off at a thousand contacts up to is going to be only $19 a month. You do get like the AI email generator. You get unlimited autoresponders, which is fantastic. I love that. The landing pages that we talked about, the templates, sign up forms and pop-ups and 24 seven chat support. I found their chat support to be very good. I've sent them a few messages and they usually do get back in a very timely matter. Something else I do want to address down here, which is fantastic. Oops, don't have to go down too far let's click on compare is there going to be the unlimited monthly sends right here can i just take a moment to say how annoying it is there's a lot of email marketing platforms that are kind of restricting you on the amount of emails that you can send i mean that's the idea of an email marketing platform whether their business isn't doing as well and they need more ways to increase their revenue whatever it is get response has unlimited monthly email sends along with the unlimited autoresponders uh, where we just saw up here before so that is fantastic you don't have to worry about being restricted on the number of emails that you're going to be sending because i know a lot of people who love of sending daily and you can certainly do that you can send daily autoresponders it's really going to be up to you now of course with the pricing there's going to be a few other upgrades in terms of the plans that you can pick from so if you're a marketer and like e-commerce business if that's your thing you can use this so you get unlimited marketing automation abandoned cart recovery promo codes and a few other things if you're really selling more especially when it comes to sales funnels then as you move on up is going to be the creator. So everything you need to create, market, and monetize your knowledge. So you get their AI course creator, up to 500 students, creator profile, premium newsletters, and so on and so forth. Also the addition of webinars. I personally use the starter one, so I can't kind of give my thoughts and opinion on that as I use mostly just for email marketing, but I do have a lot of software tools myself given the fact I review them overall. So nevertheless, from my point of view, using the starter, it's definitely great value here. So with that in mind, allow me to conclude this get response review. So overall, in my opinion, get response has been an email marketing tool that has stood the test of time. They were launched originally around 1998 and still today, they make it incredibly simple to fire off broadcast, build autoresponders and slap together a landing page. Even if you prefer the plain Jane templates like I do, just don't expect the editor to out funnel click funnels anytime soon. So if you're looking for a reliable platform that gets the job done without charging you a king's ransom, this might just be your digital marketing sidekick. So be sure to click the link in the description or pinned comment to try GetResponse for free, because why not make your emails look good and land where they're supposed to? My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my updated GetResponse review and enjoy.